Hello everybody, my name is Eric and I'm just setting up the throwaway Steam account on the VM and today we're going to be looking at another case of malware on Steam, but this one is particularly upsetting because malware on Steam has happened, but here this was used in a campaign to rob a cancer victim of money they were raising to pay for cancer treatment, which is one of the most evil cybercrime cases I have seen. And yes, the hackers knew because the person didn't download this by mistake, no. The actors behind this operation, which is still up on Steam, despite the fact this was quite big news yesterday. Maybe nobody at Valve works on the weekend, but it, I think this is something they should be shutting down and subpoenaing as fast as possible. Yes, I am mad because this is awful. So this game is called Block Blasters, and there is no actual game here, but we'll see that in a second. Uh, VX Underground has also done uh, an investigation on this. Let's open this up. I wonder if it's finally been taken. No, that's just how Steam works. Yeah, it doesn't. No, it's it's still going. Downloading slowly, but it is going. Probably because this VM has a mechanical hard drive, so it's probably... And we now have the fake game installed, so let's take a look at the files. The victim here, and I will link uh, his GoFundMe in the description because what happened is terrible, is called Ralstalan TV, and he is a uh, streamer on the crypto platform Pump.Fun, and it seems like this gang were going around Pump.Fun, so let's take a look at how this works. First, we'll see if there's anything that doesn't look right. VX Underground discovered a batch file in here, which doesn't seem right. We got that in this engine. Yikes. This one doesn't look legit. Now, is this also in the same folder, or are these possibly legitimate? This one has a slightly more legitimate. So this could be the malware. So let's take a look. So set local, delayed expansion, which is usually used for obfuscation. So there's some random numbers. And then there's a VBS script. They still echo it. So this is the first data collection. Searching for running anti- Yeah, oh, this is blatant. Oh, you guys are idiots. <laughs> this is as bad as VX Underground made it sound. Okay. Yeah, this is this is jank. Like, th there is- I guess because they weren't- I, I, How on earth did Valve approve this game? Let's just go over to SteamDB. I, I want to see if this was updated or something. This is not stealth at all. There's zero <laughs> obfuscation in this batch file. And I wonder if... Is it possible to see what the play button does? I don't know. I'm just wondering if clicking play... So then we have a C2 server. Echo, this is a loop. Is this like a vibe-coded comment type of thing? But... Okay, yeah, so definitely what's happened here then, from my guess, is the Steam... So Steam runs game2.bat instead of the legitimate exe for this game. Now let's take a look at that VB script. So these are hidden in binaries, third-party, OGG. Let's see if there's anything... Okay, these look legit. So it is all in this... What about Vorbis? Because that also could be... Nope, that one's real. Windows. That one's real. So it's in this OGG, which I didn't even, I would not have honestly thought to look at if I didn't search. And we can see launch and launch one. So let's take a look at what's going on. So this is a W script game two dot batch. Let's see what launch one does. And then, okay, so we have another batch file. Because of course we have another batch file. Oh, and it's in a zip file, probably encrypted. That's probably what the seven zip call is for. 121, okay. I love how they put it in a variable so I don't have to try and pulse out the command. They make it easy. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we can run the malware. I guess that works. This is why, uh, by the way, we never ever... This is as good a time as any to tell you about today's sponsor. Cyber threats come in many forms, and they change rapidly. But what doesn't change is the threat they can pose to your business. That is why this video is sponsored by ThreatLocker, the zero-trust endpoint security platform that blocks threats by default. Instead of chasing every possible threat, ThreatLocker flips the model. You choose what's allowed, and it blocks everything else without explicit approval. Here's how it works. Step 1. Install ThreatLocker. It starts in learning mode, observing the software you use. Step 2. Let it learn. It maps the apps, scripts, and services your team uses. Step 3. Lock it down. Switch to protected mode, and anything unrecognized is denied by default. 
ThreatLocker maintains a live list of approved applications, so the updates you trust keep working, and patch management tells you when there's unpatched software putting your business at risk. And it doesn't stop at allow or deny. With application-level ring fencing, you can lock applications to specific folders and resources, remove internet access from tools that do not need it, and control exactly how approved software is allowed to behave. Ready to move from reactive to proactive security? Strengthen your organization's security posture today at threatlocker.com slash Eric Parker. <laughs> and that is why when I'm doing malware analysis on a non-throwaway VM, I use uh, ThreatLocker. In case you're wondering, I, I did not fake that. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't have faked that. That was so... Uh, okay. Uh, but this is the throwaway VM, so that's why it's totally insecure. And don't try this at home, kids. Uh, we're just, uh, like, I, I put a lot of care into making the malware lab safe. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, so let's see. There we go. Steam. So this is... They've basically done this whole thing in MS-DOS batch files, which I actually haven't seen. Most cyber criminals like PowerShell. So maybe this isn't five coded. Maybe this is someone who's just actually good at that. And so they start the exe, of course, and then they pop up. So then they use an IP. Okay. So this thing seems staged. So let's try and I, I'm kind of curious about the final stage. So let's look at this one. Oh, that seems like a bigger file. So it's pretending to install Steam prerequisites. I'm gonna throw these on virus total, but I've already got a pause. I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of those .NET rats, just from looking at this. Of course, we don't know that, but... Okay, so this one has no flags. What about create.jump.exe? What about v2? Don't worry, we are gonna... I am gonna run this. Eventually. I'm just gonna extract them all so that we can do what we need to with them. So v2 comes with a fake PDF file that calls itself a PDF reader. I'm pretty sure that's not real. Iris Total doesn't see anything wrong with it, but it doesn't mean it's real. Now, it is possible that it is real and that it's this DLL file that's, hmm, okay. So maybe that was real. And then we've got block one again, and is this the same file or a different one? This one looks different. This is an info stealer, and then we got client built, and I already know what that is, I think. It's a pi, it's a pi installer, and we client built. That's going to be some sort of Python rat. So there's a Python rat as well. So I just want to try running the game and see, is there really a game here? And it runs the game as admin. This does remind me, I had someone reporting an issue with Steam security. Like, just, Steam is not built for security. I, I don't know if I should say exactly what they reported to me. It wasn't, like, Steam did not consider it to be a vulnerability, but I, I consider it to be a vulnerability. And clearly their review process isn't great. They should have caught that. And I think now, is that install script real or fake? Is that... Could just be because this is on a hard drive, right, that it's locking up because of that, but that kind of worries me. Or maybe that was... Does Steam service run a system? Is that? Okay, maybe it just takes a second to reach. Okay. Okay, so we're... Okay, so we're installing DirectX. So far, so good. Oh, and someone was complaining that they couldn't get it going. <laughs> yeah, so they're trying to get people on streaming on uh, pump.fun to run it and here's bitdefender catching it now i've talked about bitdefender before pretty good consumer antivirus but i reckon the problem is something like windows defender would probably have not caught it this is a clever approach they they found like they found a new method and they did i just like i i don't know i've seen you know i've seen some people in cybercrime i wouldn't call them sympathetic but they have the sense of common decency where they would see this person is raising money for cancer and not go for them. And I, I that like that's what I don't understand here. Is I, I don't understand how how anyone could possibly do that. Okay, now the game is supposedly running. Unfortunately for us, there is no game. And we just saw curl.exe running. Oh, and it's trying to see what's running on this system, which it might use to kill Steam, I think that. So despite the fact there is a game in the folder, the game never gets executed. And now the process has closed. Oh, and there's even a... Okay, let's see what that says. Apparently, a list of allow listed users, which would be exempted from having their stuff stolen. Which is idiot. If this is... <laughs> I mean, either, either this is like some sort of anti-analysis, or 
This is might it might be down by now. That might be why it terminated, but I think the C2 has finally been shown. But it's still, yeah. And it's and it's already it's built a portfolio of stolen information, which we can look at. I can actually see from that, other than an IP address, they got nothing of value. Oh, and there's a button presses. Also, it is generally not that look. It's generally considered to be bad practice to do that. Okay, so we got our running tasks. So it's just sending everything, sending the extensions, which might be a way of uh, finding, like if you have a crypto wallet or something, I guess that's what that's for. Antivirus report, player not found, and there's a debug. I don't know what correlation vector is for. And for some reason, the game uh, never seems to launch. It's just stolen all of the user's information. It says it's running, but is it? I'm curious if we can try and play the real, the not real game. So it drops all of these different stages. So let's see what happens. It seems like it actually doesn't work. And there's a bunch of people posting here who are all clearly in on it because the game doesn't work. And they've also faked reviews. Okay, just to finish this off, and right while I'm editing this, it appears it may have been taken down, which would be good news. Uh, but what I want to look at is the builds, or the patches, because I was curious, so how did they beat the review process? Now, unfortunately, we can't download the whole builds. I guess there's, pro there's, pro there's probably some sort of copyright reason for that, but what we can do is we can see the diffs. So first of all, this was the original build, and now we can see the first build. And we can see all of the sketch. basically the entire OGG folder was added in an update. So, was anything else? Oh, yeah, actually. It seems like, I, why would they remove? So, what I think happened is they made a game, or probably it's an asset flip or I vibe coded or something. They, they uploaded a game, and I don't even see why they removed the real game. Then, on the 12th of August, they did that, and then throughout this whole period, they've only been editing the malware payloads. I don't know, they accidentally shipped debug symbols for the game, I guess? So, what seems to happen here, and we can go, I just want to go all the way through, it seems like maybe they, they modify the batch. Okay, so I think that's, that's that. So yeah, so what they do, they upload a basic asset flip, somehow get it approved on Steam. I don't know how you do that. Uh, and then they will, a few weeks later, modify it with the malware, which seems to not get caught. Uh, batch files being added to a game, that shouldn't happen. All right, so I think that's going to be it for me for now. Um, I will leave a link to Rastaland's information if you want to support the victim and i'm also going to leave a link in the description because vx underground has done a really great detailed analysis on this and has found uh, some of the people who were running it and has a great uh has posted some great stuff on his x account so i'm going to leave a link to that as well so that you can read that and show them support that's going to be all for me for now bye